In the expansive landscape of my society, the notion of time often becomes a formidable dictator, imposing its will on individuals' lives. See, for the young man, his time can manifest as a relentless pressure to succeed, and it's a time marked by societal expectation where the clock's ticking becomes the drumbeat of ambition and his journey is defined by the pursuit of academic excellence, the quest for a secure job, and the aspiration to provide for his family. His time is a corridor he must navigate, one that often leaves little or no room for exploration beyond the prescribed path. But in contrast, her time, her time carries a unique cadence, often a battle between tradition and aspiration for the young woman. Tradition here may cast a gentle shadow, often not gentle, urging her to embrace marriage and motherhood at a tender age. Society's whispers echo louder, shaping her choices. It's a time when she's expected to balance the richness of her cultural heritage with her dreams of personal growth and the threats of tradition pull her towards expected roles and responsibilities, while her aspiration propel her towards uncharted territories. Her journey becomes a tightrope walk between embracing her roots and reaching for the stars. But here, for the child, his time and her time might overlap in stolen innocence and their world is shaped by boundaries set by adults. And their time is often dictated by curfews, chores, and the weight of expectations to grow up quickly. The simplicity of childhood fades under the shadows of imposed schedules and leaving them yearning for the freedom to explore their imaginations without constraint the concept of time is a canvas awaiting their vibrant strokes of curiosity. But you see, as years pass by, his time and her time become echoes in the lives of the elderly and each wrinkle, each wrinkle etched with stories and experiences. It's a time when they reflect upon choices made and the paths not taken, you know, regrets and this thing called regret can cast a long shadow and his time often brings a contemplation of what could have been, yet it's also a period of wisdom where they impart lessons learned from the unforgiving dictator that is time. In my society's complex web of cultural norms and societal pressures, his time and her time can sometimes be stifled by the relentless march of the clock. But this is a call for liberation, a challenge to the rigid dictates of time. Let us reclaim time from the clutches of societal expectations. His time should not imprison the young man, nor should her time confine the young woman. The child deserves the freedom to cherish innocence, and the elderly should find solace rather than regret. See, it's time to reshape the narrative where his time and her time coexist as allies and not adversaries. And time should be a tool for personal growth, not a prison. In my society, as everywhere else, it's time for individuals to dictate their own path, writing their stories with the ink of their own aspirations. Because you see, this thing called time is relative in each person's journey. And in celebrating each unique journey, we discover that time is not a rigid master, but a companion on life's ever evolving path. In the rhythmic dance of time, his time, and her time, I want to ask you, what stories of time echoes does your life compose? Share the verses of your experiences and let us craft a harmonious future together in the comments below.